Hi friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome to another JavaFX video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at the text area. So let's get right into it. Let's create a new project in Eclipse. Right click in the Package Explorer, click New, Other, JavaFX Project and click Next. We'll call this project Text Area Demo. Click Next, click on the Libraries tab, and then the Class Path. We'll add Library, User Library, and click Next. Choose JavaFX, click Finish, and then click Finish. Open up our main.java file, and here's the starting point for our project. A text area is a text input component that allows a user to enter multiple lines of plain text. So let's create a new text area control. First, I'll create a private instance variable of type text area. And then in our start method, we'll instantiate an object of that type. Text area equals new text area. And we'll add our text area to the center area of our border pane, which is the root of our scene graph. We'll also add a title for our stage. And if we run the program at this point, we'll see a text area that takes up the entire width and height, which currently is 400 by 400 pixels of our scene and our stage. So let's run. So this is our text area. It allows us to type text on multiple lines. And if our text is wider than the area that we have on the screen, the default behavior is to add a horizontal scroll bar. So if I were to just type some letters and we get past the area on the screen, you'll see once we get to that point where it's too large to fit horizontally in our screen real estate, we get a horizontal scroll bar. Same if we go vertically past, we'll then get a vertical scroll bar. Now we can change that default behavior text area dot set wrap text to true. And if the length of the text exceeds the width of our screen, then the text will wrap to the next line. We can also configure the text area to be editable or not editable. The text area is editable by default, but we can change that. Text area dot set editable false. In our case, that's not going to be of much use right now because we have a text area that does not display any text and that we are unable to edit. But we can append text. So this then is a read-only text area. We can copy you know, we can select everything that's in the text area. We can copy it, but we can't edit it. We can't delete. We can't change. So this can be used as a read-only text area. We can also get the text that's in a text area. Text. We'll do this out to our console. And we should get this is some text in our system console when we run. And there it is. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss any future content when I release new videos. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you today. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, Please stay safe and keep on coding.